Who wants to start? Ah. Well, Bill, congratulations on the win. Um, you got the crowd going. It's kind of an interesting fight, I would say, from the outside view. Uh, right. Can you kind of give me your thoughts on it? Yeah, I mean, anytime you deal with a specialist, uh, it's advisable to not go where they're strongest. Uh, but I don't like to listen to advice. So I wanted to test myself against a world champion jiu-jitsu, getting right into his best submission, get out of it. Not only does he get physically tired, mentally he's broke after that. And what was going through your mind? I mean, it looked pretty deep, and I, I don't know. Did you think that it was, the end was near, or were you pretty comfortable? No, I'm, I'm not lying when I say that. Like, I literally have spent years in triangles just getting out of them. Um, I'm very, very good at that. I know jiu-jitsu, and uh, when you add sweat and adrenaline and – Vaseline in a crowd, it only gets easier to get out of those triangles. Yeah, and so, okay, so then you break you break out of the triangle. Could you kind of feel that the energy was sucked out of him for whatever reason, whether it was yeah. fatigue, whether it was injury? Like, did you know? I mean, that's been the, you know, his, his career. He's, he's very dangerous in that first round, and after that, he kind of melts. So um, I thought it would take a little bit longer, but as soon as I got out of that triangle in that position, he knew, like, oh, man, now my best stuff doesn't work on this guy. I actually have to fight, and, yeah, it wasn't going to go well. Ooh. Yeah. And um, when there was a moment, I think, uh, at the end of the round when he went to stand up and it was pretty apparent, like, something was going on. Yeah. Um, did you know, like, when you went back to the stool, like, you know? This is it. Yeah, I knew he wanted out of there. But, again, he's still dangerous. He's still a fighter. So I was like, all right, feel him out in the first, like, 10, 30 seconds. He's probably going to go for a haymaker of some sort or a takedown or something. And I did some dumb stuff and gave him my foot, gave him my back. But such is life. And uh, I was okay. There was one point too where he went down, and I th I think you almost thought about doing a flying knee. Like he was he was kind of a sitting yeah, duck. I wanted, Why did you choose against that? I thought he was going to level change when I came in, and uh, yeah, he he did not. So I was like, uh, and I kind of paused on it, and then yeah, just uh, wasn't well thought out. Hey, you got the win anyway. Uh, yeah. Wins a win, finishes a finish, and then you go out and you call out uh, Chase Hooper. Yeah. Um, I think you called him Bird Chest. Yeah, I mean, as a fellow bird chest haver, uh, I'd recognize one, and uh, it's fair to say I, um, you can call out another bird chest when you have one. So I think it'll be a fun fight. He's a jiu-jitsu guy, not much stand-up, okay wrestling, I'd say. Um, I tend to beat jiu-jitsu guys up pretty well, so it's a good call out. Yeah, you were supposed to have the battle of the bills. Now you're going to have yeah. the battle of the bird chest. Do, do, yeah. Is there something matchup wise that you, you like about it, too? Is it just... Uh... No, he's got a name. You guys know who he is. That's more than enough. Yeah. <laughs> And then the Billy Quarantilla fight, maybe down the line. Yeah, I mean that's a fight where um, give give that on like a fight night when it's a bunch of like newcomers or something that because that's got fight of the night written all over it. So I really would like to have that. Ooh, when there's not a bunch of killers on the card and improve my improve both our chances of getting fight of the night. That'd be that'd be nice. And I know uh, he was kind of banged up from this one. You though, or do you feel pretty fresh? You could get back in there by the end of the year. Yeah, I'm fine. Like I said, I'd much I like I, I want to get in there like September, October, right before those kids do. So because uh, I'm going to be taking time off after that, obviously. Great. Thanks, man. Congrats. Thank you. Hey, Bill, right here, Jim Grease MMA Week. Ah, I don't stop and watch I know, that. Yeah, it's a good there. fight. These yeah. guys are going at it. Um, how's it feel to get two in a row? You were going kind of win loss, win loss. Yeah. Two in a row. Um, I mean, really, that? like even the losses I've had, like. They really didn't bring my stock down too much. They were pretty close fights, so it sucks not getting the money uh, and you know improving my record. But for me, ultimately, um, you know, I, it's about how I see myself at the end of the day, and I feel like I'm improving, and getting better, and I'm surrounded by the right people and doing the right things. So that's what makes me happy. Where do you feel like you've been improving the most? My wrestling. Thanks, Marcus. Yeah, but overall, just my overall MMA game. It used, I used to just be kind of compartmentalizing, okay, just jiu-jitsu, okay, just striking, and now I'm finally blending it all together and, and actually being a, a UFC fighter. And with a kid on the way, being a dad, I mean, what does that change? How does that change your outlook on fighting, on life, on everything? I uh, get my sleep in now, as, as far as I can tell. Um, I won't know until we get there, really, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's added motivation to make a little bit more money, that's for sure. But, I mean, there's always motivation for that. But uh, I'm just... I'm just happy. I'm just, you know, growing up and ready to start a family, and I'm ready to set that part of my, my journey. And last one for me, for you, you know, on the, you're an individual athlete on the marketing side, make money as much as you can to be on ABC. What an opportunity that is. What are your thoughts on that and the big audience and watching you? That's fantastic. This was my first crowd, and I absolutely loved it. I mean, my guys, we know, like, the way I fight, it's it's for a crowd. It's not for a, a TV studio in, the, in in Vegas, you know. I mean, I'll take it, but 
uh, I much prefer like doing cool stuff and, and getting rewarded for it. And uh, yeah, I think going forward, crowds are the way to go. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you. Hey, Bill. Mike, 77 WABC. Congrats on the win. You said, you know, it sucked not getting the money, losing a few in a row. Now that you get the money, yeah. do you buy yourself something nice, a nice little reward for the win? Yeah, actually, I'm eyeing up. Somebody took a picture of a Ford Bronco out there. What's the deal with that? I need one. I get you. The Ford Bronco is a nice car. Yeah, it is. And I, I got a truck right now. It's not too baby friendly, so I'm looking to upgrade. So can we confirm you will be getting a Ford Bronco after this? Yeah, pretty much. Awesome. I love yeah. it. Yeah. I'll take that one. How much? Who do I see? Let's barter right now. And then another question. I see you watching this fight a lot during the press conference. It's a good fight. Yeah. Do you typically watch the UFC a lot when you're in, you know, in your spare time? Yeah, I mean, really, that's the only sport I watch. Um, I, don't, I don't watch anything else. That's it. I was going to ask you, what's your next favorite sport after UFC? But you already answered that question yeah. for me. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Oof. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Damn. Oh. See, this is why I watch this. Yeah. yeah, good timing. Yeah. That's awesome. I like Soriano. He's a good dude. Uh, hey, Bill. Yeah. Uh, how is the process of uh, taking a, a fight like a, like Herbert Burns' fight with, with like last minute, the change of opponent and everything? Yeah. What are you taking in consideration before accepting? It's a dangerous guy, right? Yeah, for sure. I probably should have drilled uh, getting out of a triangle at some point. <laughs> that probably would have been a good idea. Uh, or even getting out of arm bars or any of that stuff. But it was, uh, I really just focus on myself improving. And then uh, I make little switches in my mind or maybe my stance or, or my approach, uh, depending on who it is. But really, the, the game plan's still the same. It's just hit them, <laughs> try not to get taken down, which. We're still working on, but uh, it's it's really just go out there and, and do what I can do and not worry too much about them. Thanks. That's good. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Congrats.